danger will come not just from blast or heat or nearby radiation effect, but also from fallout. Fallout, which may occur miles and miles away from the blast. You need to know about fallout, what it is, how to detect it, and what to do to protect yourself against it. Everybody needs to know. What is this fallout, anyhow? Just bits fall out of the mushroom cloud of the nuclear explosion and settle on the ground. These bits of matter can be dangerous. But when a wartime nuclear explosion occurs, a serious fallout follows. Thousands of tons of atomized earth, building materials, rocks, and gases may be thrown into the air, and the mushroom cloud containing them sometimes moves as high as 100,000 feet, nearly 20 miles up. Some of the radioactive particles spill out near the explosion site. Others may be carried for 10, 50, 100 miles or more. But how will you know if there is fallout? You can't hear, smell, taste, or see the radiation. But you yourself can detect the fallout particles that produce it. The easiest time to do this without special instruments is when the fallout is settling through the air. This starts any time from about one half hour to several hours after the explosion, depending on how far away you are and it continues to fall for an hour or longer. Usually, you can see the fallout. So if there has been an explosion of a nuclear weapon within a few hundred miles of you, you should suspect every unusual concentration of dust in the air of being fallout. After an explosion in daylight, watch any unusual accumulation of dust. At night, put a white or light-colored plate outside. Examine it every 15 minutes or so. If dust is accumulated on the plate, treat it as fallout. The particles in that fallout behave like miniature X-ray machines, sending out radiation in all directions. If there are many particles, and if you are exposed to them long enough, you will be hurt. We have warned that you may have to act before you get any detailed reports. Just what can you do if fallout comes your way? Find the best shelter you can. The more solid substance you can put between yourself and the fallout, the better. But an ordinary frame house with windows closed will give considerable protection. In a house, it's best to get on the floor, away from doors and windows. Or if you can, find a location with additional walls in the center of the building. A basement is even better if the house has one. If you plan to use such a cellar or your basement or any other shelter, stock it with food and supplies. First, sleeping equipment to fit your shelter area, folding cots or sleeping bags and blankets. Then, food and water. There should be at least a two-week supply. A radio is very important. It should be a battery portable with spare batteries a transistorized radio is best, as the batteries last longer. Unless civil defense teams have warned that your area is still dangerously radioactive, you can get out and work to help yourself and help others. Although fallout can be deadly, your chances of avoiding damage from it are much better if you follow the directions we have given you.